dollars away I will watch you blind and rhythm as you spin to the stars It's high, you're where you are Listen butterfly, got a picture to see Painted on your back, dramatic catastrophe Wispy swirling, spinning spotty hooks into me You're high, you're my love's dream You're a mix match, what's that calling out to me? Never thought in my whole life that I would get to see Such a beautiful mess, all my favorite things you make me drop Jayonica. You're great. It's video? Video, yeah. Ooh, video. I decided to do the short film out of uh, pure sort of perseverance, hoping to be able to sort of uh, encompass all aspects of storytelling and, and what I do. And uh, it was it was incredibly rewarding and I I don't know, I'm I'm very um, I'm humble about about the experience, but I uh, it's total dream come true stuff to, to be able to write something and then sort of help it come to fruition with a team of people. You are a captain of the ship, but you're also sort of you're running with a, a group of people that you believe in and trust and who only enhance your vision, and I think that is really rewarding. Um, especially when you're normally just a, an actor for hire. She is a, a corporate lawyer and she's moving up her ladder and she likes things the way she likes them. Very clean, very, very uh, streamlined house and uh, she likes her man to be the same way. Around college, I thought I was done uh, with show business and uh, I uh, found a lot of other interests. I mean, I, college kind of opens up a lot of doors um, academically for you and you just discover all these different facets of yourself that you never really knew about before. As an adult, I could understand why I wanted to do it. It was to speak text. It was to communicate stories and to tell stories well. And that's, uh, that's what I love about being in New York and what I love about acting. Uh, it's about a young boy who lives on a desolate stretch of highway in a motel with his dad and he uh, he earns his allowance by collecting roadkill that litters the highway and when uh, the dad can't afford to pay him any more of his allowance that he uh, he sort of lures animals out onto the highway in order to get create car accidents so the people that get in the accidents have to come stay in the motel for the night. What's your inspiration for that? It's actually, hey, wait. It, the, the, the film is based on a uh, chapter within his novel, Miss Corpus. And, uh, he was the only one who read the book, so I was very thankful that he was a filmmaker. The film is called Yelling to the Sky, and it's a story about a mixed race girl coming of age, making some challenging choices to improve her life, and they end up threatening her life, and then she's at a crossroads, and she has to decide who she's going to be. It's a basic tale of light versus dark and good versus evil about uh, an abandoned house in Williamsburg and um, its owner, Jim, who's a Vietnam veteran and patriot. And um, he was born in the building 64 years ago and he later bought it um, to try and renovate it. But it's been standing empty for the last 22 years. So the film is a portrait of Jim through you know, an exploration of the house. Hey, we used that camera to shoot the movie on. Oh, did you? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'm shooting it right now, ISO okay. 3200. Is that good? Do you approve? It's, it's, it's high, a little grainy, but why not? Let's go for it. It's based on a bit of personal experience. I had a bit of a scare with a condom breaking, and uh, that led to a trip to the pharmacy the next morning. And uh, it was my girlfriend at the time. It wasn't a one-night stand. But uh, the moment I went to the pharmacist and I realized that it's two pills for the morning after pill, immediately the idea for the film kind of popped into my head. And uh, I was like, man, that would make a great ticking clock in a movie. Especially if you raise the stakes, made it a one-night stand, he didn't trust her, they didn't know each other. And it just kind of kind of snowballed from there. That was the genesis for the, uh, for the idea. And I, you know, I, wanted to make, I wanted to make a movie that felt real. Because for me, honesty is the most important thing when you make a film. I didn't want it to be phony. So I, as long as I knew that I could work from a place of truth, and then I could kind of extrapolate and elaborate from there, then it was okay. And I, could, I, I had the confidence to write the script. Well, now because of that movie, they get thrown out of every party in New York. No, not really. I mean, I get some people spotting me in the street, and, you know, it kind of makes me like a name brand. I'm just on Lady Gaga Watch this week because uh, I'm one of her monsters and I need to be following her around town. I was in a short film, Kill the Day, uh, and now I have directed my first feature uh, that I acted in with Jennifer Carpenter from Dexter and 
Kristen Connolly, and uh, yeah, we're getting ready to send that out to festivals. And we're good friends and everything. So, so can you can you tell me what happens in the movie? Oh, I can I can't talk about that. I'm sorry. Top oh. secret. All right. Well, okay. Are there aliens in Men in Black Three? Then our film festival is the most innovative, creative film festival in existence. And our film festival bringing you the freshest talent year after year. I'm so happy that the film festival is back. Seven parties, seven films, seven days. And this guy right here, Mr. I resent Teenage Paparazzo. I'm having an absolute blast. Jen is the best. You're going to take my picture. I didn't know you were going to video me. <laughs> I'm a romantic at heart, so I love movies about relationships. So I absolutely must see The Pill. It's so nice to see everybody all together again. <laughs> you know, I always know when we're going to program a film uh, because I watch most of these in my living room by myself. And whenever I start applauding at the end of the movie by myself, that's when I know it's a movie for Gen Art. We're about two weeks out from the festival. Spread the good word. What can people look forward to this year's Gen Art Festival? Well, what's a lot of fun is we're in the summer this year. So, you know, people looking for a good time. Who, lo who doesn't love movies? Who doesn't love socializing over cocktails? You know, this year's slate is really diverse. And I think you're going to see some stories of uh, characters going through some trials and tribulations, but coming out on top. But maybe not on top in the way that you would expect, uh, but having learned some lessons along the way. There's lots of comedy. There's lots of uh, heartfelt moments. And um, at the end of the day, I think that you know our audience will find it really relatable. They'll have a lot to talk about at the after parties. Uh, they'll let their guard down and they'll have a good time. Do you believe in UFOs? Um, you know, I, I definitely believe that there's other stuff going on. I'm not positive that the UFOs that have been discovered are actual UFOs, but I also totally know that there's a lot of stuff over there in, in Roswell that, uh, that, you know, we can't even fathom, so who knows what's there. <laughs> My name is davidjr.com